Hey loves, thanks so much for tuning in. Happy New Year. I hope you guys are having a wonderful 2017. It's going to be a great year, you guys. A really great year. So with this being my first DIY for the new year, I wanted to bring you guys something very glamorous. Today we're going to be doing two tall candlestick pillars. It's going to be really cute. And of course, you can buy these products at the Dollar Tree with a few other things that did not come from the Dollar Tree. So the only items that you'll need from Michaels are going to be some E6000 glue and your silver looking glass spray paint, which I got from Michaels as well. It's by Krylon. I'll be sure to put everything down in the description box as I always do. So be sure to check the description box to see what all you need in order to make this DIY. So let's get started. First, what you're gonna do is you're going to take your candlestick holder, and you're gonna adhere the bottom of the tea light candle holder to the bottom of it. Next off, you're gonna also add some E6000 to the bottom of your fishbowl vase. Place it on top. Make sure everything is centered. So repeat the same steps on the next pillar. I'm actually gonna do this one upside down. You don't have to spray paint your pillars, it's definitely optional. I do love how it looks just like this, but I'm going to add some spray paint on mine to give it a little bit more of a pop, but you're more than welcome to leave it like this and add your rhinestone trim around the top if you like or anywhere on here. Just wanted to give you that option as well. So then I'll take it on the porch and I'll spray paint it with my Looking Glass Silver Spray Paint by Krylon. Come back and we'll finish up the design. Here's the finished product. They turned out absolutely cute. It is a neutral color. I was expecting to go with a glass effect, but glass on top of glass didn't work. It kept slipping off, so I decided to go with this almond spray paint that I actually used on my cake stand DIY a few months ago. And um, I also put these small pillar candles, which I did get from Dollar Tree as well, in the inside. I actually do like these. They do match my living room decor. Now, I am not going to be adding the rhinestone trim on them just because it didn't match with it being silver and these being almond, but that's totally up to you. Spray paint whatever color you like, add as much decoration as you want. These are what works good for me. I like it. It turned out really nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted as soon as I upload something on YouTube. You guys are the best. I hope you're having a wonderful 2017 and I'll see you all soon. Have a good day.